Why don't you tell us a little bit about this study? This is a study where you take artificial intelligence and you read a simple EKG. And, and, and what are you capable of finding under those circumstances? Uh, uh, that's exactly right. It, it turns out that 7 million people have a weak heart pump and don't know it. We call it asymptomatic left ventricular dysfunction. And if they knew it, it's important because there are treatments, medications, implantable devices that can prolong life and prevent symptoms. So we hypothesized that we could look at the heart's electrical signals, the EKG, which traditionally is recorded by putting sticky electrodes on the chest. You lay flat for 10 seconds. But now, as you know, it can be recorded from a smartwatch, from a smartphone. And we used a, an artificial intelligence, a neural network, and trained it to read these signals. And here's the way we did it. A neural network learns the way a child learns. You hold up an apple and say, this is an apple. You hold up an orange, and a child learns over time. Does it have a stem? Is it firm? Is it orange? Is it red or green? And the same way we held up or fed into a computer literally tens of thousands of ECGs. And then the computer over time begins to learn which ones are normal and which ones are abnormal. We then tested it by showing it unknown ECGs and said, does this person with this ECG have a weak heart pump? And to give you a sense of this, we measure how good a test is with the area under the curve, or the AUC. And a typical medical test, for example, a pap smear would have a 0.7, um, a, a mammogram a 0.85. In this test, the computer's ability to find a weak heart pump was a 0.93. Wow. So it was a very powerful predictor of whether or not a weak heart pump is present. Why is it and what surprised us was that, I'm well, sorry, go ahead. Go, no, I, you, you finish your thought, Dar. I'm just wondering why, it sounds it's serious. I don't know why it's asymptomatic. Why, what, when you, what, do you get tired or how would you? And then what, is the, what does it put you at risk for in terms of uh, a prognosis if you are one of the seven million? I mean, any of us here could be one of the seven million. How, number one, I wouldn't know it. And number two, how would it, would I have a, I wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily mean I'd have a heart attack. What, what, would, it, what would it mean I'm, I have so, a risk for? So if, yeah, so if you have a weak heart pump, then you may not know it for a while, but at some point, because you have less reserve, you may get short of breath. You may okay. get swelling in your legs. You may find you get winded going upstairs. You may have dangerous heart rhythms. You may collapse from uh, a life-threatening arrhythmia. So there are a whole slew of manifestations of having a weak heart pump. And while some people know it right away, other people may go for some time. And so the whole goal is to detect it before it becomes uh, severe. One of the things we found was that if this test shows you have a weak heart pump, and then you do the gold standard test, which is an ultrasound of the heart or a CT scan or an MRI scan, and it says your heart pump is normal, what we would call a false positive. If you follow those people for three to five years, they have a fourfold increased risk of developing a weak heart pump. Wow. In other words, this test not only tells you, do you have a weak heart pump now, but it seems to predict who's going to get a weak heart pump. Wow. And of course, it can't see the future. What we think it's doing is detecting the very early changes in the electrical signals that occur before the heart cells get so weak that they no longer pump well. And because a neural network is trained on hundreds of thousands of examples, it can see subtle patterns in an ECG that are there all along. They're hidden in plain sight, but that a human just can't remember the subtle nuances of so many patterns to interpret. Doctor, we're almost out of time. I know this is not yet approved by the FDA, but what's the plan? When could people potentially start seeing this? Sure. So we're starting to test it in our own practice. We're in the process of planning to roll that out. And the goal would be that even if you live in a small town far away from expensive testing, you could get a, an ECG that would then alert the physician that there may be additional testing that's needed. We've also partnered uh, with a company that makes a stethoscope with electrodes on it. Mm -hmm. So any nurse or doctor could uh, listen to your chest and be alerted of a weak heart pump.